Steve Bowers and Sandra Fuller. Welcome to you to this six in the city. Fuller, good to see you. It is good to see you as well. Always excited to be back. Well, we've got another full show. Yes, we do. We've right. got full. Frank all Sinatra is going to be on. Frank Sinatra is going to be on this show today. Yes. Yes, we're saving the best for last, so we'll, we'll get to that. But we're, we're going to be talking with Chris and Kristen Gray. They're, the, um, uh, they're with Relay for Life, which is coming okay. up this Friday. Wow. It's like this Friday. And then Jackie Etley and Tommy Asbel will be here. Jackie's with the Madison County chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution, and they're doing this Faces of Our Veterans photo shoots. All right. Um, that's going to run all through July, all through August. I believe it's all the Saturdays. So we're going to find out more from Jackie and Tommy about that. Right. Caitlin Roach is going to be here with us. With She's with Lifeline Blood Services. Okay. There's always a need for blood. So Caitlin's yeah. going to talk to us a little bit about what's going on there. And then Tennille Short is here. Yes. Um, she is going to, they're getting ready to have a make and take food preservation workshop. There's a, there's a two workshops that you're going to teach. Okay. You know and how to can food or not. That's right. That's right. And Tennille's going to talk to us about that. Courtney Searcy is here because it is time for Porch Fest and 731 Day. Um, she's with our Jackson home. So we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on on 731 Day and who's going to be at Porch Fest. And then finally, we'll have Ann Keel with Sacred Heart of, of Jesus High School and then Dave Halston. Right. Who is going to be Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. And it's coming up at the Sacred Heart and St. Mary's uh, joint gala that they have. It's the um, Saturday, July the 24th. All right. And of course, on main stage today, we have the one and only Jay Lake with us. That's right. That's all coming up on this Six in the Six City. In the city. As the COVID-19 vaccines become available, you might be asking yourself, should I get it? And if I do, will I be able to go about life without putting my family at risk? You've got questions, and that's normal. The fact is, the vaccines are safe and effective. They're going to save lives. To get the latest on the COVID-19 vaccines, visit GetVaccineAnswers.org. Because getting back to the moments we miss starts with getting informed. It's up to you. As we all take care and precautions, practicing social distancing with more time at home, we may find ourselves using more broadband too, relying on internet, television, and telephone services to stay connected to work, school, and family. JA is working hard to keep our customers, employees, and families safe while bringing vital services during this time, keeping you connected to the essential broadband services Jackson's homes and businesses depend on is one thing you can count on at JA Today. When I first saw a Turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with Turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. 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 Well, we looked and the event is coming up July 23rd. And I said, well, we've got a couple of weeks to get ready for that. Wrong. <laughs> no, <man. laughs> I hate July to July 23rd is this week. It is. It and is Friday. It is talking about, we're talking about this coming Friday. We're talking to Kristen, Kristen Gray, and they are here to talk about Relay for Life. Folks, how are you doing? Great. Hey, how great. are you? Thanks for we're having doing me. great. Well, what's ahead? We're just, we're on the countdown now till this Friday. And it's just stunning that July 23rd is already here. Absolutely. It snuck up on us as well. <laughs> So what's going to be happening? We're going to the uh, we're going to the farmers market. Is that where we're going? That's correct. Damn. And we'll be starting at um, six o'clock, teams are going to start setting up food. Lyondale Bassell and JPD are going to have barbecue and barbecue nachos and barbecue bologna. Um, we're also going to have a station set up where you can buy luminaria bags okay. um, on site. Um, it's from six to nine. Survivor goodie bags are going to be given out um, between six thirty and seven. Everything is going to be socially distanced. Um, if um, you'd like to wear a mask, we would encourage that as well. Um, the King Bees concert that starts at 7 yeah. at the AMP. Right. Um, that is a free concert. So come out, support Relay for Life, and okay. um, go to the concert as well. All right, so it will start at 6. I understand they've moved those concerts back in August, July and August. I think it was 730. 
mm -hmm. uh, with, with the king bees and all. So it'll be a, a special night. So the survivors, there will be survivors gifts and all the bags for, for them as well. Yes. Do people need to register let you know that they're coming or can everyone just show up comfortably at six? No, you can come at six. Um, you'll probably have to go to the survivor's desk and register for your goodie bag. Um, those goodie bags are being given out between 6.30 and 7. Okay. So it all starts at 6. All right. So now, Kristen, starts. will there still be a, a relay walk through the farmer's market? So there is a walk, I mean, a, like a path that will be lit with the Luminaria bags. Okay. Um, but it's not going to be the traditional um, walks like there usually is at relay. Okay. Chris, if... if if people want to find out more about what's coming up, how do they do that? Okay. Is there a Facebook page or web with the American yeah. Cancer Society? Or yeah, well, probably the easiest way to do it is to just just Google Madison County TN uh, Relay for Life, and that will okay. take you straight to the main page. And from that page, you can support a team if you if you've got a team with your company or or you want to support a local business that's that's uh, been participating. Um, or you can you can go in directly and you can purchase a luminaria bag if you want to pay respect or honor somebody that's uh, uh, passed or survived. Um, and so it's, it's super easy to find. The easiest way to do it just just Google Madison County TN Relay for Life. The luminaries that will be put out are they being put out this coming Friday? Yes, there is a luminaria walk at nine. I at nine o'clock. Okay. At nine o'clock at night. Um, as soon as the King Bees concert is over, because it's until nine o'clock. Um, there is a Luminaria walk. Okay. You can go online at life.org slash Madison TN and um, register for Relay, and that's survivors, participants, donations, and to purchase Luminaria bags if you're not going to be able to be there Friday night. Okay. If you would like to purchase one, you can. Okay. All this, of course, all the proceeds go to the American Cancer Society and the work that they do. How did you two get to be involved in this? So both my, I lost my dad when I was 20, so I've been involved um, with Relay for quite some time, to, and that was to cancer. And then my mother was recently, she's a survivor. She was recently diagnosed with melanoma um, and has been cured. So um, so I Relay in memory of my dad and in honor of, honor of my mother. Okay. Right. And uh, I've got two two grandparents here in Jackson that are, that are both survivors and uh, Upper 80s and doing well. Okay, terrific. That's, that's awesome. Well, it's good to see you both. We look it forward is. to Relay for Life. It is coming up this Friday night. King Bees yep. will be at the amp at 7:30. Relay kicks off at six. The Luminary Walk at nine after that concert. So it'll be a full evening. There'll be food vendors and also get on support everybody and support the uh, the American Cancer Society. Chris and Kristen, it's good to see you both. It is Thank good to have you guys. You doing Thanks that so this much. Year. It sure is. We're going to be right back with more. We're going to talk about the uh, faces of our veterans as we continue this six in the it's city. In the city. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Tired of internet that leaves you waiting and monitoring your usage with extra fees? Switch to E-Plus Broadband from the Jackson Energy Authority for fiber optic internet with the fastest speeds to keep everyone connected. Enjoy being online as much as you want without worrying about extra fees or data usage limits. Perfect for when you need to download and upload large files, stream videos, or use your favorite video conferencing app. E-Plus Broadband, fastest internet, no data caps, no slowdowns, no worries. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a very big mistake. Hey, Joe, you think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have your underground utilities parked before you start digging? John, that's just for big projects. <laughs> Actually, it's for any digging project. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe. You found your electric line. Remember, safe digging always begins with a free call to 811. You want to borrow my phone, buddy? Welcome back to Six in the City. Steve Bowers and Cassandra Fuller with you, and we welcome Tommy Aspel and Jackie Utley. Tommy's a photographer. Jackie's with the Veterans Coalition, with Daughters of the American Revolution, many things in our community. 
They're working together this year on the Faces of Our Veterans Project. Lost it last year, photos are made of veterans and then they are put on posters on display during Veterans Weekend coming up the first weekend in November in connection with Veterans Day. But those photo sessions are underway. In fact, one, if you're watching us live on the 20th, it's coming up this evening at, at uh, from six until eight. Six to eight. And, then, and then next Tuesday, the 27th of July, right, you're going back to one to four. That's correct. Well, we're, we're alternating one week, we do one to four, the next week, six to six eight. To eight. And then that there'll be three shoots catch. coming up on Tuesdays in August, right? You got three three yes. Tuesdays in August. Yes. And the shoots yes. are Tuesdays, not Saturdays. I, I think I had made that <laughs> yes. comment in the beginning that they're on Saturdays, but they're not. They're every Tuesday. As far as the location, these are being done at the uh, the uh, not the, the American Legion on the Post Twelve, which is uh, on Hartsbridge Road. Fair switch. Fair switch Road. Fair okay. switch. Right. Fair switch Road here in in Jackson, and and Tommy Aswell is the one that that, that does this. We've we've been through a week. So Tommy, how's it going so far? So far, it's going good. We've uh, got a whole new set up this uh, year and uh, we've had several veterans in so far and it's going real good. Okay. And you say veterans can bring whatever they would like, right? If they want to wear their uniforms or caps or whatever, or just that's, whatever they want to do. That's correct. You, uh, come as you wish is uh, the way I put it. You bring a picture uh, with you when you were in the service or any memorabilia that you might have. Uh, just wear your hat or uniform jacket or uh, shirt or whatever you've got. Okay. And this is, this, and this is free to the veterans, right? Absolutely, 100% free. We have a, a sponsor this year. Sarah of Jackson is underwriting the entire project. Oh, wow. So there, there's absolutely no cost at all to the veterans, and we're not going to try to get them in and try to sell them a package of photographs. Or, <laughs> you know, it's just... They show up, we photograph them, and then they receive a free eight by ten during the Veterans Day weekend. So when you say free eight by ten, that's actually true. That, that is, is actually true. true. Wow. And no strings. No strings. <laughs> no strings. <laughs> no contributions. Eight by ten is free, but the lighting is forty five dollars. Yeah. Okay. We won't pass the plate or anything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jackie, what is the reason for doing this? We're, we're doing this because we want to honor and recognize and archive the veterans in our area. Um, since our, our shoot last year, we've lost six to 10 of the veterans we photographed. Oh, wow. And because wow. we could not get into care facilities because of COVID last oh, year, right. okay. there, there is no way of knowing how many veterans that we've lost that we did not photograph. So this is just a, a way to, to honor them and recognize their service and archive this. Okay. I thought about the, the, the archiving, which becomes- uh -huh. Yes. So yes. this becomes a permanent record where? These are stored digitally somewhere? Is that what we're going to do or? He, um, Tommy has them stored digitally. Of course, we had the posters that we made last right. year. We are looking for a permanent home for them. Uh, right now, the American Legion Post is storing them for us. Okay. These posters will be brought out during the first weekend in November as we, we get ready for, for Veterans Day this year, on the, which is on the 11th. But the parade is going to be Saturday the 6th. 6th, the 6th. The, the, the Veterans night, Service is going to be on the 5th, right? Friday night, and it'll be at Highland Park Church on Campbell this year. Okay. And we will have the posters set up there. And then after that Friday night event, Tommy and Larry and volunteers will move the easels and the posters to City Hall Lobby. So they'll be on display there until the week of Thanksgiving. Okay. Well, Jackie, for all those veterans that are interested in doing this, how do they um, how do they get in touch with you guys? Do they need to make an appointment? Do they just they, need to no. show up? If they show up, uh, it takes probably two or three minutes to get signed into the system, and then we take their photograph, and then they're they're ready to leave. So they if they show up, we can photograph them. If they have any have, questions, how do they get in touch with you? They can get in touch with me, Jackie Utley. My phone number is 731-293-5055. And I know, it, uh, I think it ran on uh, one of the broadcast media over the weekend, and I must have had five or six phone calls Monday. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> 293-5055. 293-5055, yes. Well, so these are done on Tuesday. If you're watching us live on Tuesday the 20th, that's yes. coming up this evening from 6 to 8. Next Tuesday the 27th, it'll be 1 till 4. They'll yes. alternate three weeks in August. So just talk to Jack, like Jackie, and we'll be there. Good to see <laughs> you both. We have Thank a Facebook you. page. 
Okay. Faces on Facebook. All right. Awesome. Faces, faces of our veterans. Faces of our veterans on Facebook. Faces of our veterans on faces Facebook. Faces of our veterans. So there you go. get a hold of Tommy or Jackie. They'll get things yes. taken care of. Appreciate yes. you Thank both doing you. this work Thank you so much. much for doing that. We Always appreciate you being you. on. Thanks for we having are going to the main stage, and we've worked with this man for years. He's an extremely talented producer and, and writer. And, and Super busy and man. Right here in Jackson. He does it all. This is Jay Lake. This is my new single. It's called One of a Kind. Featuring Urban Mystic, y'all. Hope y'all love it. Yeah, listen. Uh. My woman, she's real good. Always treat me right. Uh huh. She always got my back through the ups and downs. Happy or sad, she makes it all right. Yes, she does. Hey, no need for running around, playing out in the streets. I got a good woman at home. And she just what I need. My girl is one of a kind. One of a kind. Oh, yeah. Nobody like the one I love. I searched all over. My girl is one of a kind. Oh, yeah. Not a thing, not a thing, not a thing. Can I get a witness? my new single, One of a Kind. The SOAR Award, System Operational Achievement Recognition, presented by the American Public Gas Association, recognizes forward-thinking natural gas utilities that continually improve operation capabilities, adapt to challenges, and the changing demands of safe, reliable natural gas distribution. In 2019, the APGA Gold SOAR Award was presented to the Natural Gas Division of JEA. System integrity, forward-thinking innovation, all a real part of JEA today. At Southern Family Dentistry, we offer dental treatment for your entire family. We have the latest 3D digital x-ray system. We offer implants, veneers, teeth whitening, and all the other normal services you receive at the dental office. We have two offices, one in Milan and one in Jackson, and e broadband telephone services allows us to connect both of those offices. It doesn't matter which office the patient calls, we have the ability to speak to that patient at either location. I don't remember how it started. Go to that. Oh Our back and forth. It always came back. Dad! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word.
Kayla Roach is with us with Lifeline Blood Services. Kayla, good to see you. It is good, good to see you. y'all. Good, good to have you. We, you said we had good news concerning Cherie Parker and her surgery this week, not to get overly personal, but people have known Cherie because of what, two decades of doing work with Lifeline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes, she, uh, so, so that was good news. Yes, had a successful tumor removal. All so right, we were well, very excited. Very excited about that. And did did require some blood usage. So we see another commercial coming. Yes, five <laughs> units so far. So okay. um, hopefully that's it for her. <laughs> yeah, I hope, that, hope that's it. But you know, you see the makings of another commercial. Well, Lifeline has been expanding. I noticed recently the ribbon cutting at Dyersburg went well, I understand. It did. We had a great crowd and, you know, we've been open since January, but we wanted to give it a little time and, and let us really be able to celebrate it. So we've held off our ribbon cutting until last week and it was, it was great. Okay. Well, that, that's good. The reason for expanding into Dyersburg, what does that do for you? Well, um, you know, always an opportunity to collect more units of blood, probably the most positive thing that will happen in the coming months is it's going to be a new location to collect plasma and platelets. Right now you can only do that at our Jackson Center and um, those are things that are constantly needed and particularly platelets just because the way you have to store them they'll only last five to seven days. So the thought of being able to you know have a new location to get some donors to do plasma and platelets is very exciting but that will be later this year. Does All the donation those units brought to Jackson then, Caitlin, you, you still operate out of a central location here or does Dyersburg have its own distribution network out there? No, everything runs through here, so through Jackson, through here. for all of all of West Tennessee, for, except Shelby and Tipton counties, um, two and across the river, so 20 counties total, it all runs out of Jackson. Cassandra, my apology, I jumped in on you there. Oh, no, no worries. I was just going to ask about the plate the donation process. Is that is that a little different than it just is. regular blood donation? Mm -hmm. or? Yeah, plasma and platelets both use apheresis, which means we take your blood out and spin it down and break out the parts that we need and then give you the rest back. So it takes a little longer. But then you can be a donor more often? Correct. You can give plasma every four weeks and platelets every two weeks. Uh, you can only give whole blood every eight weeks. So that's how people really rack up those gallons upon gallons of donations. Okay. Okay. So, well, how are we doing with our blood supply? I know it's been a challenge. COVID disrupted things and it disrupted blood drives and schools being in session and everything else. So how are we doing? I mean, we're hanging in. We are I, I honestly, I feel like all through the summer we could run critical appeal, but at some point it, it just starts to be on deaf ears, you know, if, if you say it too much, but um, it's by no means in a place where we're comfortable and it may be better the last couple of weeks and it's, def, it's, it's a little bit better than it's been at times, but it's like this all over the country. Basically, the usage is just up. People are out and about more, so they are unfortunately having more accidents, and people are going in for procedures that maybe they've put off through the pandemic, and That's so right. the yeah. need is just higher, and um, people are out of the habit of giving, and they're, they're not coming out maybe like they were before, so trying to get people to get that back on their top of mind, hey, let me prioritize that, put it on the calendar, and go do it um, is, is huge for us right now. Now, Kayla, I know you can be a blood donor at 183 Sterling Farms Drive here in Jackson six days a week. What are those hours? Monday to Saturday, 9 to 6. 9 to 6, nine okay. To six. Mm -hmm. And, and then we send out our mobile. a staggered schedule, right? Yes, yes. Um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday from 10 to 6, and Saturday and Wednesday from 8 to 4, close Thursday, Friday. Okay, so you got folks in Dyersburg, and then you got blood drives. Best way to keep up with the blood drives is? Um, our website, Lifeline Blood Serve, that's S E R V dot org. Uh, that's another place we're suffering at the moment. We're only able to send out two mobiles right now because of our staffing. Um, so hopefully by the end of August, we're going to have moved back to sending out three a day like we usually do. But that's, you know, just one more thing that's made this difficult right now. I noticed you had, have added some blood drives on Saturday and Sundays, even in some cases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're starting to do uh, partnerships with churches and, okay. and have drives there. Right. Um, it's a great way to love your neighbor and be hands and feet to donate blood. So mm -hmm. hoping that um, have some good turnouts from those. And be a blood donor and come Labor Day weekend, you may be riding a new vehicle from Joe Mahan Ford. Up there. 
that's right. Yes, that, that's okay, our good, big good. summer giveaway is our right. 2019 Ford Eco Sport that they are so generous to donate to us to give away. So uh, very excited to do that. And I mean, we do little things all the time. We've got a little giveaway going on right now for the rest of the month in our Jackson and Dyersburg Center, a one night stay at um, the Marriott in Muscle okay. Shoals with and is, um, a is dinner. all that on the on your website? Lifeline? That's on that's on Facebook. Right. That post is. Facebook. So. Right. Kayla, so good to see you. Yes, Appreciate the work so you're much, doing Kayla. very much. Of course, thanks for having glad, me. Glad with the good news on Cherie. We're going back to the main stage, as they say, and we welcome once again the very talented Jay Lake. So late. Yeah. I want to party. Yeah. Casino. I need y'all to go download and stream this single right here. It's called Party. Take the country to join. As long as we yeah. are fun. Song said, yeah, it's Friday. Just got off, about to run by the stool. Get a 12 pack of that coat, me galore. Yeah, gotta run home. Take a shout, put on some clothes, yeah. Put on my best cologne, check the mirror and hit the door. You know what? I think I want a party, boy, yeah. Might just hit the casino. It don't matter, I got money. Run to the country, country by the Jill John, as long as we are having fun. I just wanna have a good time. I, I wanna party. Come on and ride with me. Casino. It don't matter. I got money. Run to the country, country by the two John. As long as we are having fun. I just wanna have this. I might ride down to Tunica and heat the tape. Yeah. Or I might ride to the country by the Jew, John, and hang with the Nate. Yeah. Uh, Uncle Mike, he always, you know, he frying fish. We need you on Friday. Yeah. I might stop by and get me a plate before it get too late. All I'm trying to tell you I want to party. I just want to have a good time. Casino. It don't matter. I got money. Run to the country, country by the two joints. Long, long as we are having fun. I just want to have a good time. I yeah. We are in an opioid crisis. More and more of our neighbors are dying from opioid overdoses. More than 1,300 Tennesseans in 2018 alone. You have the power to reverse this deadly trend. Because of the COVID-19 outbreak, Jackson Madison Prevention Coalition is now offering free Narcan training online and by phone. Narcan reversal kits are available. Contact Mark Mason at 731-694-0741. That's 731-694-0741. Don't let your loved one become a statistic. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Move over. It's the law. When approaching work vehicles or crews, move over to create a safety zone. It protects utility workers, law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency personnel. It's not an option. Slow down. It could save a life. Stay safe. Move over. Hi, I'm Kedrick Perkins, PGA General Manager at Jackson Country Club. Jackson Country Club's amenities are true southern hospitality. Championship golf course, fine dining, six tennis courts, junior Olympic pool and fitness. We pride ourselves in giving our members the best. Choosing JEA was a logical choice so that we could tie in our phone, internet, and cable solutions so that we can advance our next segment of technology. Tennille Short is with us, and Tennille just doesn't enjoy her work at all. It's just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> she is a wonderful, wonderful agent for the University of Tennessee and, and uh, programs in, in the, uh, well, what used to be homemaker clubs, all this other stuff. It's got such a great history. When, 
when farming was not only the way you tried to make you know, a living in a way, but you, you did it to survive your family and the homemaker clubs were the key to efficiency in a household, I think, Tanil. It's just got a great history that it took everybody to survive. Right, and we're still working with everybody so we can all survive together. Yeah, survive, yeah. Well, Tanil is here because we're going to talk about food preservation, and we're talking about some, these are canning workshops. Is that a fair way to describe these? That is. We are learning how to can. We're learning how to do the water bath method as well as the pressure canning. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm sure when Fuller knows the difference. I don't. No, so I was going to ask, what's the, <laughs> what's the difference between the water bath and, well, I know what a pressure cooker is. I mean, the pressure canning, but I just, I, I, not enough. I just know just enough to be dangerous. So tell us, tell us about it. It's just boiling water. So we're going to process foods in boiling water. And so we're able to do some of our fruits that way. We do jellies uh, in the boiling water. But then when it comes to our vegetables and things like that, we need to do those using pressure canning which is a big pressure cooker, like you're describing, um, where we have the weighted gauge or the dial gauge, and we are actually processing the foods under pressure. And so we're going to learn how to use both of those. Now, the pressure cooker is kind of scary to some people. Yeah. So we're doing hands on in this workshop. You're actually going to do every step of the food preservation process. Oh, so is, this a difficult process. is this a difficult process to learn? It's not difficult. It's methodical. So it's like step okay. one, step two, step three. And when you do this, you're able to preserve your foods in a safe way. That's the key. We've got to get everybody uh, working under safely guidelines, you know, uh, doing things, processing for the right amount of time, leaving the proper amount of headspace. Did you know we can't fill our jars all the way up to the top? There is a prescribed amount of space that needs to be at the top so that the food okay. can safely expand without interfering with the seal of your jar. So okay. those are the kinds of things that we're going to be talking about in this workshop. Okay. Well, when are the workshops going to happen, Tanea? Well, it's going to be on a Tuesday and a Thursday evening, August 24th and 26th. We're going to do 5.30 to 8.30. So okay. you're registered for both sessions. Again, they are three-hour workshops, but remember, we're going from cutting up the food to processing the food. We're going to do the whole thing, but you're actually going to leave with some delicious food to take home. Oh, wow. Okay. As a group. So a real sense of community there. So what's Definitely. the uh, registration fee and how, how do I, how, how do I make the connection? Well, the registration fee is $50. That includes both nights. It includes a canning guide and the food that you get a chance to take home. You just call us at 668 eight five four three to register for the class um we're just taking registration that way um you know we just want people to get involved because so many people started gardens last year with okay. lockdown mode and they have a lot of bounty coming in and they want to know what to do with it you know freezing is good but you only have so much space so right and canned goods you can keep them in a cool dry place um, and they can last great quality for a year. So that's an option that a lot of people want to consider. So on these workshops, it's not an e you don't it's not an either or. You have to come. You should come to both of the workshops so that you can learn everything, right? We're registering for both because we are going to be taking it step by step. We're going to talk about the safety. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the canning issues that people run into, like your jar is not sealing. You know, what happens if you process these jars and two or three didn't seal? Can you reprocess them? That's a common question that we sure. get. Wow. Well, it sounds like, well, it's very interesting it, it, and, and it would be a very valuable skill to have, you know. You know yeah, it was it, definitely. It, there was one point in my life when everybody I knew canned, but that, that went away a long time ago. <laughs> I've lived too long to deal, you know, it, it, I'm run, running out of space here. So it, it's, in, well, it's fat. August the 24th, 26th, they will be done at UT Ag on Airways or at the county ag offices? Where will they be done? In the Ag Auditorium here on 309 North Parkway. On Parkway, okay. We've got everything we need, and so we're going to get the food preservation going. All right. All right. So I call you at 668-8543, get you $50. I don't have to bring anything else other than myself. Bring yourself. I'll bring the rest. All right. <laughs> it sounds great. Well, that sounds perfect. So good to see you, Tanil. Appreciate what you're doing. It is. Thanks it's so great much. Great work. Tanil. Thanks. Thanks. We're going to be back to find out about, well, we got what? We got Porch Fest and 731 coming up. Yeah. Frank Sinatra's still all the way. Yeah. It's all coming up on this six in, the, in city. the city.
Here at the Emergency Operations Center, we rely on E-plus broadband fiber network to better serve Madison County. With high-speed internet, we track storms and natural disasters in real time. Also, fiber internet gives us the speed to host training classes preparing responders from all over the county and state. The phone system allows us flexibility to stay in contact and make conference calls with both in and out of the office with local, state, and federal agencies. Connectivity is an important part of emergency management. Want to receive account information via text? When you enroll in JA Alerts, you can. Text to get a bill bounce, due date, set a payment extension, receive an outage notification, reply to report an electric outage, text JOIN, J-O-I-N, text JOIN to 53248-53248. Cell phone number must be current and attached to your JA account. Visit jacksenergy.com slash text alert for more information. With E-Plus Broadband and Watch TV Everywhere, you can now take your TV on the go. Just visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to sign up. Then you're all set to catch your favorite shows, movies, and sports wherever and whenever you want on any internet-connected device. Choose from our growing selection of networks from your cable package at no extra charge. Visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to learn more. It's easy to sign up for E-Plus Broadband's TV Everywhere. Courtney Searcy with our Jackson Home is with us because we are approaching, it's July, we're approaching 731 day. That's right. Wow. Can't mm -hmm. believe it. Wait, I know. We, we, we're about to run out, run out of month. The 731 is right around the corner. So Courtney, good to see you. What's going to be happening on 731 day in this city? Oh, there's going to be stuff happening all over the city. Um, so 731 day is basically just a day that we encourage local businesses, organizations, anyone to get involved and support our city and our small businesses. So um, on 731day.com, you can check out all the businesses participating. Some of the big things that we have happening, um, the day will kick off at 11 with a giant water balloon fight sponsored by Town and Country Realtors at Old Country Store. And because they had to cancel that last year, they had bought 7,310 water balloons. And they thought, why not just buy another 7,000 and have twice that amount this year? So that's oh, wow. Crazy. We got 14,600 whatever water balloons. Yeah, 14,000. I can't even imagine what that looks like. Right, who um, gets I can't to fill, who gets to to fill those, one. Courtney? Who yeah, I can't those? imagine having to be the one to fill those. <laughs> You know, they have these attachments for hoses now where you can do like 100 at a time. So Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, right. they do. They have the, the fancy ones. So so we've got the water balloon fight. It starts at 11. Mm -hmm. What's next? So that's a great way for the kids to get involved starting off the day. Um, we have, there are businesses all over town who are participating. So some businesses have 731 off your meal whatever kind of thing. So those are all available on the website. And then um, our Jackson home wraps up the day with uh, Porch Fest. So that'll be live music in, in Midtown. Um, but really the idea is just to get out in the community and support local businesses, local artists. Um, our Jackson home will also be set up at the local, which is Turntable Coffee near the farmer's market. Uh, with several other nonprofits, so encouraging people to give on that day as well. Um, so yeah, you'll set up there when then, Courtney? Because uh -huh. the thing I with the old country store and the and the balloon fight starts at what time? That 11. starts at ten. That's eleven. 10. 11. I'm 10. sorry. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Um, and, and, and they do that in the okay. they do in the field out there. I tell you, rather than the parking lot, is that in front of the the big house or? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so that, that'll be so sort of make make your way to that area, but then you'll be downtown of the locals as well. Yes, so there will be several nonprofits set up there: United Way, Keep My Hood Good, and then Jackson Grown, which is a program that our Jackson Home is going to be starting soon. Uh, will be there as well as the Reed Team. So encouraging people oh. to get involved okay. and and give back as well. Yeah. So Courtney, what got Seven Three One Day started? How did it get it start? Yeah, so 731 Day, our Jackson Home started planning it. I believe it's been six years now. Oh, wow. Um, so basically, um, I think we may have gotten the idea from Memphis as a 901 Day, so that would be um, when they celebrate. Um, but I think because our Jackson Home was really in the business of our, our mission statement is to celebrate the people and the stories 
of the city that we love, which is Jackson. Um, so obviously celebrating 731 Day and just creating a way for people to create special events and deals and things that um, uh, let us celebrate with our neighbors is a great way right. to do that. All right, great. 731, and hopefully they won't change our area code. We can hang on to this. One I know, one. right? I know. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> We're going to continue because Porch Fest is a big part of that. We're going to, we're going to get details about Porch Fest coming up. We're going to take a break. We're going to go back to the main stage. And once again, we welcome the very, very talented Jay. Hey, Lake. Say it and see it with voice control. Find your favorites faster across live, recorded, and streaming TV. Movies, shows, news, sports, music are just a voice command away. Show me action movies. Just for kids. Every result personalized based on viewing habits and time of day. Say it, watch it, it's that easy with the power of voice control. Need to check your bill balance? Set a payment extension. Get outage notifications. With JEA, it's easy. Text. When you enroll in JEA Alerts, you open all those possibilities. To enroll, text JOIN, J-O-I-N, to 53248. Text JOIN to 53248. If your cell phone number is current, two-way texting is yours. Real-time communication, direct customer service with JEA Today. I'm Mark Taylor. I'm the owner of Renew Biomedical Services based out of here in Jackson, Tennessee. We're a provider of uh, 
biomedical services for medical professionals. At Renew Biomedical, our use of telecom is of utmost importance. We have to reach our customers in a timely fashion so we can diagnose and service their equipment needs. So e Broadband allows Renew Biomedical to connect effectively with our customers in whichever way they choose, via email, phone, Skype, teleconferencing, in any way you can imagine. Courtney Searcy is with us from our Jackson home. We've been talking about 731 Day and all the activities that were launched that morning from the, the farmer's market all the way out to the old country store and everybody in between. But it's going to lead up to Porch Fest. So Courtney, let's pick up Porch Fest. That will start at what time? Porch Fest will start at 2.30 this year and that, that stage will actually kick off on Campbell Street. Um, so if you're familiar with Campbell Lake in the Midtown area, it's a good landmark to find where things will be kicking off. All right, so how does Porch Fest operate? Um, so Porch Fest is a series of short concerts on the port, front porch uh, in the Atlanta neighborhood. So there will be eight different acts this year. So 30 minutes at a time, the artists will play a set on someone's front porch and people can bring their lawn chair, their picnic blanket, set up, enjoy the show, and then move on to the next yard. Okay. So is there any admission fee for it? Courtney? It's completely, it's a completely free community event. Okay. Who will be performing then, Courtney? So we have, like I said, we have eight musicians lined up. Um, Alice Harden will be starting uh, in the evening. They're all, they're all local musicians, either with ties to Jackson or currently live in Jackson with uh, original music. So we've got Alice Harden, John Pate, and Chloe Lawson. Uh, we have Cliff Jackson, who if you've seen the Jackson t-shirts, uh, he's also a musician, so that's a fun act to have in the uh -huh. mix. Um, got a band called Robin J, um, Aaron L. Um, we have Alone Jones, who is a R&B artist, uh -huh. uh, and Kelsey Merriweather. I believe I'm forgetting someone. Uh, the uh, Colonel? Yes, the Colonel. I can't forget the Colonel. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm glad you've got the list there. <laughs> I've been rattling it off so much. I normally can go right down the list. Well, that's a, that's a lot to, to keep up with. So, and, and like you said, they're all local artists. So it should should make for a, a great porch fest, a great concert. Now there's also gonna be a post porch fest party or something, yes. right? Yeah, so this year our Jackson Home is having our first porch fest after party at Hub City Brewery. Um, and that is a ticketed event. It's $10. And um, Black Hippie is an artist who has ties to University of Memphis Lambeth, who is really an up and coming artist that we're excited to have at the at Hub City. So that'll be a $10 ticket. And then we have a DJ set by uh, Stedman Roebuck and Rob Griffith. Um, so it'll just be a fun way to end the evening. Um, a lot of times the porch fest is over, you want to keep enjoying enjoying the fun so we'll head over to hub city and see everybody there okay. what time does that start that after starts at 8 8 p.m 8 p.m how do you get those how do you get those tickets you can go to 731day.com has all of that okay. you can find the facebook event um there's also a link on eventbrite so one of those three places you can find a link so can we also find on 731day.com um the uh, map for all of where all the bands are going to be, the front porches? Yes, yeah, so that information will be there. The addresses of the specific um, houses aren't there yet, but it'll all be within the 300 block of Crescent, Westwood, okay. Campbell. So okay. uh, it'll follow in a path, so it should be really easy to find. Uh, the streets will be closed off there, so it'll be safe oh. for everyone. Um, and you should be able to right. easily find it. No hitchhiking between locations required then. Yes. <laughs> Just follow the crowd. Okay. Yes. It'd be is pretty it. easy to find. Okay. Well, Courtney, it's good to see you. Appreciate yeah. our Jackson home Thank getting behind you. all this. 731day.com. And that's coming up, I think, sometime soon. Yeah, you think? <laughs> okay, I, I think. Courtney, good to have you with us. It is Thank good, good so to have you, Courtney. We come back to the house. Uh, let's see, Frank Sinatra is going to be with us. Yes, he is. All right. not, none other. None other than uh, Frank yeah. Sinatra. We'll see if Ava Gardner's with him. We'll check into that next on Six in the City. When I heard the word leukemia, 
I was terrified. Thanks. Right here in West Tennessee, people are fighting for their lives. Even though you know they're taking chemotherapy and they got a long road ahead, if they can maintain their smile and their energy, it makes it a whole lot easier. That's why platelets are so vital. Wendy's blessed. Her son survived. There's only one place to get platelets, and that's from people like you. Please give. Doing what's never been done. The American Public Power Association includes over 2,000 local public utility systems. Over 15 years, the APPA has presented RP3 awards, recognizing system reliability, safety, workforce development, and improvement. JA in 2020 not only received the top level diamond RP3 award, it was presented to JA for the seventh time. No utility has been so recognized. Honored Public Power, another part of JA Today. When I was your age, I was just like you, fascinated by stars. <sighs> but now I get to search for life in the universe. And who knows, maybe life is looking for us too. So we're like aliens to them? Yeah. Does anyone want to be a scientist now? I do. Awesome, we need more girls in STEM. Maybe we can find aliens. Welcome back to Six in the City. Steve Bowers, Cassandra Fuller with you, and Dave Halston, who is Frank Sinatra, is with us, and Ann Kale with us. Good to see you both. Yes, Hi, how are y'all? We're good. good. Yeah, Dave is, is, is really, Dave's, see, now Dave's got the look, and he's ready, you know. He is, he's ready to go. He's um, put on his persona of Frank Sinatra for us for this interview. Yeah. Um, but, but, uh, gracious Dave, enough yeah. to give us. Dave, we're going to ask you all those questions. They're all about Ava Gardner. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> I have the right to remain silent. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Dave, Dave is working Frank Sinatra all, along with another artist who uh, who does uh, uh, Dean Martin. And they're going to be in this city this coming Saturday night, the twenty fourth. Yeah. Yes. Evening. And the right that starts at six o'clock. It does. Um, the doors open at six, I believe. Dinner will begin at seven. Yeah, so the cocktail reception at six, and then the sh and Dave, the show is done during dinner, right? This is a full like Vegas style dinner show. Yeah. Okay. It is. I mean, you will feel like you have gone back into the 1950s old Las Vegas Rat Pack. Um, he does the most phenomenal job as Frank Sinatra, and it just really is breathtaking. In fact, we did one year with one of his um, co-workers, took a little break and did a share impersonator, and she was fabulous. Everybody wanted Frank back, so he okay. is a crowd favorite for sure. Okay. A crowd favorite. So we're talking about the uh, Mardi Gras auction and gala at St. Mary's uh, School and Sacred Heart of Jesus, St. Mary's Church and Sacred Heart of Jesus. Uh, it's coming up Saturday, the 24th. It's from 6 and 2 11, and it's going to be at the Civic Center this time. Is that right? No, you actually had it right the first time, Sandra. It's um, St. Mary's School and Sacred Heart of Jesus High School. High School. So Got you. We took the um, Mardi Gras auction from St. Mary's School and then our casino gala um, from our event, and we've combined them both into one fabulous um, event. Obviously, with COVID, everything kept getting pushed back. Nobody knew when anything could be. And so we just decided this year um, to make it easier on all of our patrons. We're just going to combine into one big blowout party and one fabulous night. And it's at the Civic Center. That is right. Yeah. Yes. And so how do we get tickets? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Um, Sure, there are just a few available. Um, there is a, a couple tables and there are some individual seats available. And so it, the tickets include the cocktail hour, the dinner show, which is fantastic. They have jokes and Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra sing and they perform all throughout this formal sit down dinner that will be served to you. And then we'll have a silent, a live and silent auction. And then the casino tables open Again, they're coming in from Georgia and we've got dealers. It's all play money, monopoly money, but it really does feel like a time um, back in the past where we were all just having you know, a good time in Las Vegas and evening out. We're bringing Las Vegas to you, but you can call the school, either school, St. Mary's School or Sacred Heart of Jesus High School to purchase those um, tickets. There are just a few available. And tickets how much? So a table of eight is $1,500, and it includes some different perks than individual tickets. Individual tickets are $150. And again, it includes the dinner, it includes the cocktails, it includes all of these, the play money. You can't even listen to a Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin impersonator that are this good. 
for half that price, and then you get dinner and everything else on top of it. That's right. We first started, hey, what does it take to make this work? I tell oh, my goodness. This is going to be a lot of fun. We've got the whole band coming along. Okay. Uh, from Las Vegas, the great Tom Stevens, who's the best uh, Dean Martin uh, on the planet. Funny, comedy, great music, all the original arrangements that most people are going to be familiar with. And uh, we just make it a, a good time. And let me tell you what, these folks at Sacred Heart, they know how to do it. Okay. And uh, we've been privileged to uh, uh, be with them in the past. And it's one of the most enjoyable evenings that you could possibly have. They're such a great asset to the city of Jackson. And uh, we're really privileged and grateful to be to be a part of this event. Okay. And do we need to dress up like Frank to be there? Yes, it is a formal event. Okay. So uh, most of the gentlemen don't wear full tuxedos, um, you know, here in Jackson, but so um, it is cocktail okay. attire for the ladies. Okay. Most of the men um, wear a jacket and button down shirt and dress attire. Okay. So um, Frank is always a notch above everybody else. But uh, <laughs> I think a little known fact about um, Dave, how, how wonderfully he portrays Frank Sinatra. When Barbara Sinatra does tributes for her late husband, um, the original Frank Sinatra, he's the only one she calls in to do that. So he is oh, wow. top of the line. Sounds like it. Yep. David, I'd, I'd take that this is an enjoyable thing to do. It really is. It, you know, I, I, I love my job. And, uh, but the, the, the greatest part of it is watching and being able to be a part of, of, of helping people enjoy themselves and go back a little bit in time. Yeah. It gives people a moment of, of, uh, of, of joy. And uh, the music is some of the best that's ever been created here in the American Songbook. Uh, the greatest arrangers of all time worked on Frank's material, yeah. guys yeah. like Nelson Riddle and so forth. Yeah. All right, well, great. Well, Dave, we look forward. Appreciate you dressing up in the middle of the day to do yes, this. Yes, thank you so and, much. So, thank, thank you so much. We look forward to it. And Ann, a blessing. And I want to thank, thank everybody guys. for being with us. We're, we're gonna we're gonna get out here and let it go. We do want to say that we regret Shirley Jones' death very much. What a treasure yes, she do. was to this community. She just passed away in the last 24 hours, and we want the family to know we're thinking of her. Dave, we appreciate it, and we'll see you Saturday yes, night. Thank the you, 24th, guys. That's this Saturday night. Thanks for being with us. JL is going to take us away. This is six in the city. See you next week. How y'all doing? It's your boy Jay Lake. So glad to be back. Ooh, babe. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather have love than nothing at all. Listen. I was cool in the streets. I was cool in them clubs. Real talk, I wasn't thinking nothing about love. See, I didn't want nobody try to partake in my stuff. I thought an occasional one night stand would be enough. Oh, but one day I had met this girl, now she ruined my philosophy. It caught me by surprise. It's like I got two left feet when she comes around. Oh, oh. Never thought that I'll be ready to settle down. Oh. See, I was about to find myself alone. Then I found myself for love. I know. said it's gonna take a minute to evolve. Ooh. But I'd rather have love than nothing at all. I'd rather have love for my own. Oh, yeah. Can't stay in this place forever. Even though I want to see us together. I'd rather have love hey. than have a life alone. Wow, well. See, I was raised by a good one. Mama told me what a real man should be. She said, son, pick one and treat her like me. Uh. But I took all of her wisdom and I used it for selfish gain. And I know if she saw this pimpin, she'd be ashamed. Oh, but one day I, I met this girl, now she ruined my philosophy. It caught me by surprise. It's like I got to left feet when she comes around. Oh, oh. Never thought that I'll be ready to settle down. Oh. See, I was about to find myself alone. 